After protesting against Islamic blasphemy, Indian Muslims' homes demolished. Recently, protests erupted all over India due to the BJP spokesperson in Nipur Sharma's remarks about the Prophet Muhammad and his wife Aisha. Sharma was suspended from the party for her comments. Street protests and violent riots by angry Muslim mobs have been going on for days throughout the country. In Ranchi, demonstrators pelted stones and tortured, torched vehicles. Under the orders from Chief Minister Yogi Adyanath, authorities in Uttar Pradesh, India, used bulldozers to destroy the homes of people accused of being involved in the protests. Amnesty International issued a condemnation and described the actions of the authorities as, quote, the excessive use of force in response to large-scale protests in the country. Many decry the demolitions as patently illegal and a brazen display of collective punishment. Ali Khan uh, Mahmoudbad, the head of the political science department at Ashoka University, said the bulldozer had become a potent symbol of fear for the Muslims. He explained, quote, it's not that just that you will go to jail or you will get arrested, but your entire family will suffer. I don't understand how this is going to fix anything. Do you raise like, that? Good point. I hadn't thought about it like that. <laughs> Like, do they think like, like, okay, so I mean, the the houses that you're destroying are not necessarily the same people who are protesting. You're just doing guilt by association, mm -hmm. and also there's no, I mean, like, isn't this anti-Indian? Like, like the people, like the Indian people who are cheering this, like, yes, give it to them. Aren't they like, you're like, you're ruining India. Like, you, you what about the rule of law? What about due process? What mm -hmm. about your judicial system? Like. Aren't those valuable institutions to you? Isn't that what sets you apart from other countries? Aren't you happy that India is superior to a country like Iran or Pakistan because they have a stronger, more developed uh, judicial system? And aren't you just throwing that in the garbage can by holding people collectively responsible and punishing them without due process? Like, isn't that like, this is anti-Indian. Like you're destroying, you, you think you're destroying Muslim community. You're destroying your own institutions. You're, you're destroying your own values, the values that have set you apart from other countries. You're becoming more and more like the countries that you hate. Anyways. Well, I also don't see how it's helpful to like, just economically disenfranchise like your own population like this, like to set back people generations in terms of wealth accumulation um yeah that's going to hurt your own economies and own communities as well and so it's really interesting there was one particularly prominent case of um the student activist afreen fatima and her family so she had a two-story house in um uh I'm, this is a really hard word for me pray prayajraj from from like allahabad known as allahabad and they bulldozed her house because they said that she was involved with these protests or that her father was involved in creating these protests, but there wasn't any evidence to produce this. And they were issued notice basically like the day before I, I might get like the chronology of events, like a little bit wrong, but basically saying, Oh, you, li you live in an illegal, um, an illegal establishment. You live in an illegal construction. And they're like, what are you talking about? We've been paying taxes on this house for like 20 years. Suddenly it's an illegal construction. And basically the entire process of how her house and in, in particular was demolished was completely illegal. One, because they issued notice to her father when because of Muslim personal law, the 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 house was in the name of her mother. So if, if the court order is issued to the name of the wrong person, then it's it's completely invalid, right? So even this court order that they put forward as some of their evidence to support like why that they did this, even that has no legal standing. Um, and then to do this kind of thing in India, like it takes a, actually a lot of court procedures to go through with this kind of thing. And none of it was observed. Absolutely none of it was observed, even just for like a, a normal, regular legitimate, like you have an illegal construction that we need to take down. Um, but the fact that this was done within the span of 48 hours after these protests, it's just such clear, yeah, collective punishment. When they're like, we weren't involved with this, we didn't organize this, just they put a target on our back because we have some prominence 
and they went after us. Yeah. All right, so let's actually read some comments here. And I want to... Okay, yeah, we got a lot of comments. Um, Forever Stormy is saying it's not meant to fix anything. It's supposed to show them their place. That's basically how I interpret these events. Um, and it's particularly important that this is happening. This happened in April, too. You'll remember there was a lot of violence that was sparked because of, I'm gonna, I always say it wrong, um, Ram Navami, or Ram Me, whatever, um, the, the Hindu festival to celebrate the birth of Lord Rama. And there was a lot of Hindu Muslim violence across the country during this time. And there were also a series of home demolitions that took place because, again, same thing. They said, you Muslims were protesting. The chief minister, I forget what state it was in, but he said, he literally said, like, oh, you're pelting stones, so we're going to turn your home into stones. And just went ahead and bulldozed this. And there were, there were court orders. I think it went all the way up to the Supreme Court. And um, saying, yeah, no, this is completely illegal. You can't do this without due process. In, in no form of the Indian Penal Code, even if there was due process, in no form of the Indian Penal Code is this a legal punishment that is prescribed. Like, where are you guys getting this from, basically? Um, anyways, um, Oxymoron is saying, no, they were mostly same people caught on camera if... They are illegal construction. All right, so down. let me try. Let me try. Let me translate. Okay, so Exumaran is saying that uh, no, these the the houses that were demolished were of the people in the protest. The cameras show that. Okay, well, first of all, if you want to punish people, you can't just be like, oh, we saw the camera, therefore punishment is just. You have to go through a court, a court procedure. They have to be able to defend themselves. The fact that it was this shortly after the protest means that none of those processes took place. Okay, you can't be like, "Oh, we saw it. Well, that's for justified." Okay, like this is this is very dangerous precedent that you're setting here. Okay, that oh, it, it, all it took is that we saw it on camera. Even if you're sure, you have to go through the process for the sake of uh, maintaining as your you know a proper judicial system in the country. And then the second part is saying. Um, if they if they are illegal construction, then they move down. So they're saying he's saying that because they're illegal, um, the the illegality of it was used to move down the construction. First of all, that's not that's not how you're supposed to use use the law. You can't just be like use your vendetta against somebody to just highlight. For example, I know like in Turkey, for example, um, there's this atheist that they want to get for blasphemy charges, but they couldn't do that. Like they want to get revenge from him because of his views on Islam, right? Um, and what they did is like, oh, you have an illegal balcony. And they selectively used that illegal balcony on him, even though other people had illegal balconies as well. This is a selective way of, uh, you know, using laws against one a certain group of people versus the other ones. It's a way. For, it's a way for you to do illegal punishments while technically being in accordance with the law. That is also a misuse of your own laws. Okay. Um, the, there's a, and the process of even if you want to de demolish a house that is processed, the way they the date that violates India's own, own laws. There's a pro there's a process where you have to go through to make that happen. Um, so you're saying legally right, but wrong in terms of values. No, it's also legally it's, it was also not done the proper way. Okay. Um, and also Regs, Regsy boy is saying her father was a mastermind of the violence. You have to prove that. Okay. And the punishment. Okay. So if you want to, you have to take that to the court system and you could prove that. I mean, I would be endorsing that if somebody was responsible for violence then you take that to court you prove it and they go to prison you don't use another law that is unrelated against them and and then enforce it selectively that's not the right way to do it if the guy <laughs> is the mastermind of the violence i agree they should be punished this is wrong go on yeah no well because okay um whether i was i don't know mm, actually never mind no, some people are saying that some people, in, yeah, I know, I know you're being, you're trying to be careful, but some people are in the live chat are saying, well, they are saying they don't care about the law. Okay. Well, okay. So they, if they don't care about the law, you're going to join them in on pissing on your own laws. Like you are all joining the Hindu. You have a stake Hindus. in this. Yeah. Again, you're like, so you are, you are joining the people you hate and you're allying with them. 
in pissing on your own laws and ruining the country. Like, congratulations, the people that you call your enemies are actually your allies in destroying India. You're friends with each other. You act like you're enemies of, with each other. Anyways, read this one. Bengal Hindu is saying, well, the difference between India and Pakistan, mob violence are not openly supported by the Pakistani government, but in India, it is openly supported by the Indian government. It depends on what kind of mob you're in, what mm. side you're on. Yeah, no, no, I don't completely Pakistan, agree with that. No, yeah, in Pakistan as well, they bend the knee to the mob a lot. So, And they keep saying, they keep giving them things that makes the mobs happy. Yeah, so no, I don't know if I agree mm -hmm. with that. So, yeah. Um, Forever yeah. Stormy is saying, in states like Jugrat, uh, one third of all buildings are technically illegal. This has nothing to do with illegality. Everything to do with showing who's in power. Yeah. Okay, AK is saying this type of, this what we're saying is our ideology and it's the reason why we have terrorist attacks in the West. Well, what? Okay, I, AK, the Western countries are doing a lot better than India. So if you, <laughs> whatever, whatever the situation is in Western countries and in India, um, I'm pretty sure most people would prefer whatever happens. Like maybe if, if the values are responsible for how the Western countries are and how India are, they have, they're winning and you're losing. India is losing and they're, they're ahead. They're, they're way ahead. Oh, what is this? Oh, Forever Storm is saying, Armin and Susanna care more about Indian, India than most Indians right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the world's largest secular democracy? Everybody should care. Um, and people are once again <laughs> correcting how I pronounce Jujarat. <laughs> now, go, go. It's been Why years. I still can't get it right. Okay. The, the G's are G. The G's make the G sound. The J's make the J sound. You can't do the. That's both so confusing. G. What do you mean? G is G. Gu Jarat. Well, how would how else? Okay. No. How else would you? Write Isn't that what G? I've been saying? Gujarat. No, you just said Jujarat. You just said Jujarat. Because <laughs> this Gujarat. person Gu. says, "Oh, f I'm, I'm dyslexic too. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm getting stressed." <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.